we are seeing now, from the overturning of abortion rights to the ruling that discrimination and, frankly, stripping the full personhood and dignity of LGBTQ people uh, in the United States. Th this is, these are the types of rulings that signal a dangerous creep towards authoritarianism and centralization of power in the court. In fact, we have members of the court themselves, with Justice Elena Kagan, saying that the court is beginning to assume the power of a legislature. Congress and will... right now, whether it is expansion of the court. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just want yes. to, how, how do you do that? How do you, are you proposing a law well, or a bill? I, I, there's several ways. First, we have a Senate Judiciary Committee that is beginning the process of investigating the entanglements and conflicts of interest. Just one to two weeks before the student loan ruling, the country learned that Justice Samuel Alito was accepting gifts from billionaires who were lobbying against Supreme Court uh, forgive or that were lobbying before the Supreme Court against student loan forgiveness. Um, just you know, just weeks before we learned that that he was accepting gifts from them um, and travel and vacations from them before he decided to uh, vote and rule in their favor. And so I believe that if. Justice, if Chief Justice Roberts will not come before Congress for an investigation voluntarily, I believe that we should be considering subpoenas. We should be considering investigations. We must pass, pass much more binding and stringent ethics guidelines where we see members of Cong uh, where we see members of the of the Supreme Court potentially breaking the law as we saw in the refusal, you know, with Clarence Thomas to recuse himself uh, from cases implicating his wife in, in January 6th. There also must be impeachment on the table. We have a broad level of tools to deal with misconduct, overreach, and abuse of power. And the Supreme Court has not been receiving the adequate oversight necessary in order to preserve their own legitimacy. And in the process, they themselves have been destroying the legitimacy of the court, which is profoundly dangerous for our entire democracy.